but no, I'm never seeing Kalsa. And uh, for the month of May, we're going to do two wonderful pranayams. And these come from one of my favorite all-time Kundalini Research Institute books, Prana Prani Pranayam. First one we're going to do uh, has a mudra, and that is left hand is going to hold the right and you're going to cross your thumbs like this. And you hold it in front of the heart center and just let the hands curl around each other a little bit. And then you do a four part breathing pattern. You inhale through your nose, exhale through your nose. Inhale through your mouth, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your mouth, exhale through your nose. So you do the tune in mantra, Om Namo Gurudev Namo, three times. Get your hands in position. This is kind of the warm up for what we're doing this month. And uh, it looks like this. And so you're going to want to do this for about three minutes. It balances the brain hemispheres. It's a great warm up. If you're feeling any anxiety from, from staying at home during this pandemic, this is a great way of just cooling yourself out. And then after you do that, three minutes to 11 minutes, we're going to do another uh, Kriya, meditative Kriya from Prani Prani Pranayam. And this one is balancing the mind and heart unto infinity. So this has a mudra too. You're going to take your thumbs, place them in your armpits, arms up and uh, hands in the upper pectorals. The first one, you had your eyes gazing at the tip of your nose when we're in this position. This one, your eyes are only going to be about one-tenth open. And you hold the position, and then you're going to inhale with a whistle, and exhale through your nose. So it sounds like this. And you'll continue doing that for 11 minutes. There's no particular ending for that one. But what you do is you mentally chant the mantra, so hung, so on the whistle, inhale, and hung as you exhale through your nose. So hung, I belong to that. And this is for balancing the head and the heart. Oftentimes the mind, the brain, the head, you know, operates independently. This way, the frequency of the heart center, and actually when you're done with this, you can really feel this heart opening. Uh, I always do some chanting afterwards. Uh, I'm still in love with that mantra from last month, Ra-a, Ma-a. I'll chant that for a while because it just feels so good to chant from the heart center. So basically, it puts the heart in charge of a frequency to Allow the head to come in alignment so that you can be in this state of, of wholeness, so you can stay in this state of balance, so you can stay in the balance of really uh, being with your soul body, which is the balance of head and heart. Anyway, thank you so much. Um, we'll be practicing this for the month of May. Satnam.